Okay, now I'm going to go into my NYX Ultimate palette that I've used many, many times. And I know it's kind of cheating, but like I said, their eyeshadow palettes at Walmart were super expensive. Usually they have different palettes in different colors in this one. Um, but Walmart didn't have different colors. Goodies did. But I really don't feel like going back there and getting a brand new palette. I mean, these colors are still pretty useful, and I can still, like, tell you all my honest opinions on this palette. Honestly, I love this palette. I've had it for months, and it's lasted me a super long time. Um, this, as you can see, is a color that I use, like, on a daily basis. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do go to work, and that is my go-to color. And they also, I didn't really see, like, any NYX um, brushes or anything. So... I'm honestly just going to go in with my Eco Tools blending brush. Love these brushes. Um, let's see, what are we doing today? Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Okay, so since we're skipping powder today, I think I'm going to go into this white color here. And we're going to take that and we're going to set the lids with it. Since I couldn't find an eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to take this tannish color underneath the white sparkly shade and I am just going to tap off the excess and use that as a transition shade. I think we're going to do, I'm really in the mood to do like a purple eyeshadow look. I've never done that before so let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to pick up the shade right here underneath the white shade is kind of like a taupey ish color and we're just going to run that through the crease we're going to put quite a bit of this on i actually don't think i've ever used this shade so i guess first impressions of this too <laughs> I haven't used all of the shades in the palette yet. I know. <coughs> I know that's shocking <laughs> to some of y'all. Um, but I seriously... Ooh, that is super pretty. I love that color. Um, I usually, like, I swear, I use that brown transition shade. Like... I use it all over the lid, I use it in my crease, I use it for an outer corner, um, I use it in the outer corners, like I use it for everything. <laughs> so, now I'm going to take this dark purple shade right here, and I'm just going to put that over, kind of under a little bit of that taupey color that we just did. This might look super intense, so just trust the process. And with these eyeshadows, one thing that I like about them is that they're really not hard to blend out. Like, they're super easy to blend out, and you can just, like, blend it really fast in a few seconds, and it looks bomb. And then I'm going to go in back into, I'm going to go back into that taupe color. And I'm just going to blend out the outer edges with it. Just so we don't get any harsh lines or anything. Kind of like tone it down a little bit. Now, I'm going to wipe off the excess again. And we're going to go into... We're going to go into this dark brown shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to put it on the outer corners just to give it some definition. We're not going to blend that into the crease though because we don't want it to be too dark. And then I think I'm also going to do like a halo eye. Add that in the outer corners. And I'm also going to add some like right here. Like close. 
close to my inner corners. Since we're doing a halo eye, I'm gonna put some right there. First time really doing a halo eye, so pray for me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go into this darker brown here and I'm gonna darken it up a little bit in the, out, in the inner corners because it looks a little too shimmery. I'm gonna add a little bit more. We want that halo effect to really show. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take the other side of the brush. Man, this is looking really pretty. I'm literally just, just winging this, y'all. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm just using the colors I haven't really used before. I think we're gonna go into this white shimmer shade here. And just really pack that on the brush. I might add some setting spray to it to make it pop more. I'm just gonna put that in the center of my eye. I don't know why I'm doing this because we're doing eyeliner anyway. That's okay. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna add some of that dewy finish setting spray. <coughs> I'm gonna do it kind of far away because we don't want it to be too wet. I didn't do anything. I like completely missed the brush. There. I'm gonna kind of shake it a little bit. It's not too, too wet. Then I'm going to dip into that same white shade. I'm just gonna really pack that on my brush. And gonna put that in the center of my eye okay I think I'm gonna add that dark brown color in the outer corner to really give it that halo effect I love how we were going into this saying that we were gonna do a purple eyeshadow look it really doesn't look purple it actually does kind of does like that that is so pretty and I'm also actually going to take that same shimmery white shade and I'm going to put that in my inner corners so they pop as well. So they pop, so it makes it pop more. Can you see that? Like, look how pretty. Man, that setting, that setting spray is amazing. Okay, done with the eyes. Alright, now the fun part. We're going to go into the NYX Professional Makeup. That's the point eyeliner. I'm just going to open this up. I literally haven't opened anything, probably should have before this, but I kind of wanted to do like an unboxing of this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that to be that tiny. That, I hope that's going to make a really pretty wing. Um, so this is supposed to be a really fine, oh my goodness. Y'all look at that. Look how fine that is and skinny man the packaging was right when I said it was you know fine <laughs> okay we're going to attempt to do a wing with this I love it already <laughs> like most of most of the eyeliners that I normally use they're like really drying like especially this felt tip but this can't like it's really liquidy which I like I feel like this could get really messy <laughs> Man, that made a really precise line. I like that. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I haven't done a wing in forever, so I'm kind of scared.
Oh wow. What? Y'all. Oh my gosh, I love this eye. This is my new favorite eyeliner. Y'all. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. I am, I am shocked. Like that was so easy. What? <laughs> That's insane. Okay, definitely worth the price. I was thinking this one was pretty pricey. I was thinking it was like $10, but man, that is worth the price. So it's called NYX Professional Makeup. That's the point eyeliner. If you're looking for a good eyeliner, definitely go for this one. Wow. I have, I have nothing bad to say about this. Okay. Love that. <laughs> now we're going to go into the... NYX Professional Makeup Zaza Zoo Volume Length Volume Mascara. I'm excited to try this one out, actually. I'm actually going to use, I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to use my Tarte Eyelash Curler. I have elephant eyelashes, like I've said in the past. So I have to curl my lashes. Or, like, they're going to be flat. Man, that's a fat, that's a fat <laughs> tube. I hope it's not going to be, like, massive. Oh, yep, it's massive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I hope that's not going to make my eyelashes clumpy. We'll see. Okay. Moment of truth. Um... This is actually really dry so far. Like, I don't feel like it's coating my lashes at all. Like, normally you can feel, like, when something, like, when a makeup product is dry. I'm confused. I can't really feel like the wetness of it. Mm. This isn't doing anything for my lashes. Now, do you all see anything on the side? Because I don't. I'm going to like really try and like get some product and try it on the other side. I'm going to curl this side of my lashes. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Since there was only one left, I thought it was going to be really good. So I'm really going to try and get some product out and not, not really like wipe it off. I'm going to try this as a bottom lash mascara too. I don't know, that's weird. Like, I can see my eyelashes, but, like, they look, they still look really thin. This is supposed to get them, give them volume, and, like, they're not looking much longer. Man, I'm disappointed. Um, that's really weird. I'm gonna try my lower lash line. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to smoke out my lower lash line. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. No. I don't like this. Like, at all. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Um... Like, the brush is too big, and I feel like it's really dried out. Like, I don't feel like there's any product on the brush. Uh, <coughs> yeah. 
It's supposed to give you length and volume. Okay, yeah, so I really didn't like that. I wouldn't be buying this again. I'm sorry. Um, okay, next. I'm trying to do this really fast because my phone is almost out of storage. So, what's next? Next is I'm going to do the NYX Ombre Blush. And the name is kind of rubbed off of there, so sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to be... I'm going to be using my Mary Kay foundation brush to apply it. And I'm just going to dip into both of these colors and tap off the excess because this can be pretty pigmented. So I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. And this one's a really pretty color actually. I really like it. It's a really natural color too. It's not like too intense. I'm just going to put some on my forehead and a little bit on my nose so it just matches my whole face. And yeah, I literally have nothing bad to say about this. Like, it's a really pretty blush and I definitely recommend it. I'm to speed this video up because my storage on my phone is almost out. So, what's next? Okay, so we skipped brows. Um... See how you can like barely tell it's like even there? I really like it. It's really natural. So I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right into highlighter. I'm really excited about this product too. <laughs> like I said, it's the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Oops! I'm dropping stuff. Um, I'm not sure how to use an illuminator. So um, I think I'm just going to dab... A little bit where you would put highlighter. I'm just going to dab this right here. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to try a liquid illuminator. I don't think I'm going to be able to tell right now though. Since I'm not in direct sunlight. I don't know. Like it's definitely like a pink toned liquid illuminator. I don't know if y'all can tell if it's doing anything. Um, I'm just gonna put it on like the high points of my face, like my chin. I'm gonna put some. Like it definitely looks pink when you apply it. Um, you definitely have to like blend it out. I'm gonna, like you can see on my finger that it's like really pretty and like glowy. So I don't know. I'm gonna try and blend it out with a beauty blender. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Like I, I don't really, can you, I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe I'm applying too much. I'm gonna apply some. Ooh, hello. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. That just that just lit up my nose. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna apply some. I'm gonna like in between, like um, like the middle of my forehead. <laughs> Oh my goodness, do you see my nose? What? I'm gonna apply some above my lip, because why not? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I am going to glow to the moon, to the sun actually. Oh my gosh, y'all, my nose. What? That is beautiful. Like, that works so well on my nose. I can't really tell with, like, you know where you would normally apply highlighter, but I guess it's because I'm not in direct sunlight. Um, but yeah, I love this. Like, especially for a nose highlight. It's really, really good. I, I will definitely update you and let you know how it does, like, 
on uh, like where I applied it like right here in direct sunlight and see if it looks glowy or not but I can definitely tell on my nose and I have nothing bad to say about this product either definitely recommend yeah I definitely recommend that product that is so pretty oh my goodness like and it doesn't like like it feels I, don't know, I can't really explain the texture but when once you put it on your finger like it looks pink almost um I guess because it's in like a pink bottle um a little bit goes a long way though you can't use a lot because it'll literally look pink so you don't want to use too much but man that nose highlight though <laughs> yeah I love that product okay so the last thing no second to last the second to last thing that we're gonna use is the dewy finish setting spray and with this you got to be careful um, do not use it right after you apply mascara because if you do your mascara is gonna go everywhere so I would um, I would suggest you apply it before you put mascara on um, which I should have done but I'm just gonna like do it kind of this scares me sometimes because I don't know what's gonna score it out okay Don't inhale it either. <laughs> yeah, this gets everywhere. And you have to dry it too. It's supposed to make your um, your makeup look dewy and glowy. Like say if you had like a matte foundation on, like it would make it, like if you sprayed the setting spray on, like not only does it set your makeup, but it makes your face glowy, which is a plus. Um, yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I really like it. And it's my... My, um, I'm actually going to apply some a little bit more because yellow. I want it to look really glowy today. So, tonight, I guess. Like, look. Oops, I just moved my tripod. Like, look how glowy it makes your skin. You have to dry it, though. Don't inhale it or taste it either because it, <laughs> it don't sit. No. I wish I had a <coughs> better smell because it smells kind of chemically. That's the only con to it, but the pro is that it really, like, it sets your makeup all day, your foundation does not move, and it makes your face look, like, super glowy and pretty, and, yeah, literally no cons to this, except, um, don't do it too close to your face, or, like, it'll look really watery, obviously, um, and obviously don't inhale it like I did, because it doesn't have the, I don't know, it has... It doesn't have the best smell. That's the only con to it. But I definitely recommend this product. It is so good. And yeah, I'll definitely be buying this again. I've used it, I've used it twice. So that means I like it. I like, Actually, I love it. It's so good. Okay. Last step. So for this, I would recommend using like a lip scrub. Or you know what? I'm going to go and put some chapstick on real quick. Because these are matte. Um, and they dry down matte, so they'll make your lips really dry. So you want to apply something really moisturizing before you put this on. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied some chapstick, and my lips look pink now. I didn't know that this, um, it kind of has, like, a stain to it. It's just a classic strawberry chapstick I got at Walmart. It's good. It really hydrates your lips. <coughs> okay. So, I'm going to be using the, I'm going to be using the seduction one, and I'm hoping that my phone doesn't run out of storage again. So, it's the NYX Lingerine, I think it's uh, Lingerine, that's how you say it, Seduction, in the color Seduction. It's a nice applicator. It's what it looks like. I'm just going to apply it to my lips. Ooh. It feels really nice over that chapstick.
That is so pretty. It almost look. it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a brownish color, but over that chapstick where it kind of, like it was kind of like almost pinkish, um, it kind of changed the color a little bit, but I still love it. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. All I gotta say for these products is, wow. <laughs> I really loved everything that I just tried. Um, everything is beautiful. Like, the foundation looks really nice and natural. Um, I definitely... I definitely wish that they came out with more brow, um, brow products for NYX. I think they do have some more, and I think I might try another one. Um... I love the eyeliner. It glided on so, like, smooth and nicely. Um, it looks really good. It doesn't look like it hasn't smudged at all. Um, it was really easy to do wing with. I don't like the mascara, though. Like, you cannot even see my eyelashes. Like, it didn't give them volume or anything. Um, I have a really nice glow to my skin, especially on my nose with that illuminating um, highlighter. The lips I love, but you have to wear chapstick with it because it's super matte. Um, yeah. I, I honestly love everything. Like, wow. <laughs> oh, I know what we were going to do. We were, what am I doing? We're going to do the, um, what's this called? This is a Silk Indulgent, and we're going to try and put some of that in the middle of my lips. And then, man, I'm going to have a mess to clean up. I'm going to have a mess and a half after this. Okay, so this is the, I really like those applicators. <coughs> <coughs> they glide on really smooth. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the center. I might try this on its own, too. I'm going to do, like, kind of like an ombre effect. Put some on the sides of my lips, too. Oh my goodness. 